Prime Minister Modi is uh, conducting a ground survey in Vyanad uh, uh, and its areas where, of course, a landslide uh, killed a number of people. He's in uh, Mundakai and uh, Churamala. He's interacting with the NDRF officials and personnel from the armed forces to take a stock of the status of relief and rescue in this region. The Prime Minister is being briefed about the evacuation efforts. Kerala Governor Arif Mohammad Khan and Union Minister Suresh Gopi uh, are also present. All right, Ramesha, my colleague is joining us on the broadcast to give us more details about this. Ramesha, if you can hear me. Yes, sir. All right. Well, the Prime Minister obviously is taking stock of a situation which uh, has exactly not improved despite the best efforts of the NDRF. You know, uh, the death toll continues to rise. There are still people who are missing. What more can you tell us? Yes, uh, uh, still people are missing. 132 plus missing in the uh, landslide uh, of the area. Still, uh, such the operations going on. By, but the, by and large, the uh, search operation and rescue was completed in the area where residents have been located with uh, Mundakai, Churamala, and uh, Putumala, and other areas. Now, the search operation going on in the Sujipara Bridge and uh, Sujipara Falls and uh, other uh, uh, remote areas that is 20 kilometers away from this uh, devastated uh, place we, we saw in this uh, Churamala and the area. Uh, the, there, uh, they found some bodies uh, still, uh, still missing uh, people's uh, rescue operation still continued. By the time uh, today, Prime Minister Narendra Modi visiting the places that he has done an aerial survey, 30 minute aerial survey in the Mundakai, Kerumala, and other affected areas where uh, landslide uh, started occurring uh, and other places where uh, uh, the landslide effects are very more, very severe. Uh, the Prime Minister noted that uh, there is no houses or any living uh, objects in this uh, areas of Mundakai and the Kerumala area totally devastated. Only the debris were found. He found the debris only. Only on the rescue operations have been seen. No other uh, peoples or living people or uh, the uh, people who natively stay there, they are not found there. He should express the shock and then he will be visiting now the Bailey Bridge which uh, uh, built uh, to Turamala and Mundaka area and uh, now he is uh, taking stock of that situation. The army personnel who built the uh, Bailey Bridge within uh, 24 hours, they are explaining how grave this uh, situation and the uh, how they rescued the people in this area and other things. The local collector and the uh, union minister, Suresh uh, Gopi, Chief Minister Punarai Vijayan and the Governor Arif Mohammad Khan, the uh, Prime Minister, they are getting the shock of the situation. Now, Prime Minister moved to hospital, Wins Hospital, where injured people are taking uh, uh, treatment. Uh, you know. Ramesha, thank you for that. Sumit Peer, senior political analyst, also with us on the broadcast. Sumit? I hope you can hear me. Yeah, we need the good afternoon loud and clear. All right, well, Sumit, it's good to see that the Prime Minister is there. He's not politicized this. Uh, he's not made comments against the government for not trying. Uh, in fact, uh, this is a solemn period for Kerala. And uh, all polity and political uh, commentary should uh, be withheld. And the only focus should be on the people who are trying to survive uh, after you know this mammoth destruction took place in Kerala. I think goes without saying when, when we talk about Prime Minister Modi, Raj Dharva comes first and that is what he has shown. When Prime Minister Modi is replying to a motion in Parliament, he's a different person, but that is the politician Prime Minister Modi. But when it comes to Raj Dharma and Rajakarma, he's altogether a different person. Look, the kind of interest, the kind of help, the kind of pain which Prime Minister Modi has shown vis-a-vis -vis Vainad and the kind of help he has made available. So, Kerala is not ruled by BJP and Vainad, you know, whose constituency it was or is going to be. Those people are the missing in action. But I think for the, as the behalf, on the behalf of the Prime Minister, he did what he had to do. And he's showing that the welfare of India, irrespective of its BJP role or not ruled state, is sacrosanct, is very important to his heart. Every Indian matters same. And we should not be doing any politics around it, Vineet. The question is relief and rescue and to prevent these landslides. Look, I don't want to get into the politics of it, but there was a warning which was given well in advance, which Mr. Amit Shah told in the parliament 
that and still the people were not acting on it though the climate is changing things are getting out of control but at the end of the day you see all our hill stations and all our places like wynad and we have simla here we have a lot of other places where a lot of urbanization is happening where a lot of population rush has started going where a lot of construction is happening which is not warranted for so in such situations you know we as a country have to look at bigger perspectives how to manage the situation of course there's no need for getting into politics of it because and whoever is that is a indian is a indian first he may be a voter of bjp congress or anybody that's a different thing but bhai the first person who is dead is indian and the people who are trying to survive and get their lives back on track they are again india so the indian resolve bharat ka resolve has to work behind it and get the things up and running and you are absolutely right we need there's no point point of taking any political points or making political brownie points on it and that's what the prime minister's intent shows his intention is always there and even when he was a gujarat chief minister and we had the unfortunate incident in kedarnath he was there at the com- uh, control center there were not a lot of gujaratis in kedarnath but he spent a lot of time there and he was trying to oversee the relief and rescue measures that is what the nature of prime minister modi is so if people can still see politics in it and they'll say okay, okay why only a 40 minute visit why not two days before why not two days after then they are the people who will be starting the politics because then the bjp has respond and when bjp responds that should not be seen as politics in this case will rahul gandhi will kc venu gopal and will priyanka gandhi the mp in making of why not at least thank prime minister modi for doing well, it well well so i'll 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 tell you exactly what the congress party is going to do right now the congress party is going to say why so late correct correct sir that is what i'm telling you because then when the bjp will respond to that then it should not be seen as bjp is doing politics on it if there is a, such a problem in anybody anybody's constituency and a prime minister visits the constituency there are two or three protocols one the mp is usually with the prime minister he is a bjp or he is not a bjp or she is a bjp or not a bjp secondly we need the at least the mp has and that party has to thank the prime minister thank you for all your help sir we really appreciate and you know even the chief minister has to thank you the prime minister thank you for all the pains taken we really appreciate your help but will you even see those basic minimum gestures coming the answer is i don't see them coming and uh, you know priyanka ji is going to be the mp of wynad it's only you know wynad is, is is a political century for them wherein when their fortunes are dwindling anywhere in the india they go there and get elected and you know wynad is unfortunately going to be another rivalry for congress what has rivalry got all these years because of congress mp nothing compare rivalry with varanasi see the difference so wynad is going to be another uh, you know rivalry for congress is that is how they do so there's a family bastion just for winning elections even at to, at this moment they don't seem to be concerned did they did they at, at least have those basic cuts rahul gandhi as the ex mp did he even thank the prime minister he could have gone to twitter and thanked the prime minister he is very fast to criticize the prime minister on anything to everything but when prime minister does something good in his own ex constituency does he even have the courtesy to thank him no he doesn't mm. have that that is with the politics. all right for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon